Hi friends, today we are going to see how we are going to finish the sari edge using the defoder of the Usha Dream Maker. Watch the video fully. The very first thing is we have to fill the bobbin with the thread what we have chosen in the sari. I have chosen blue color sari so I am selecting the blue thread. So first the thread should be passed through the first arrow mark if it, it, it is pointing down and the thread should be passed through the through the screw so that the bobbin and the thread tension will be easily maintained in the bobbin. We have to insert bobbin, we have to pull the thread to the left arrow so that it will be sticked firmly. The thread should pass through the arrow mark pointed in the machine. So first we have to follow the first one, then second one you ha they, we have to take a U-turn and we have to pull over the curved edge in the third one and we have to come down for the fourth one and then we have to pull the thread to the automatic thread needle. So automatic thread needle we have in the right direction so we have to pull over the thread so that the easily the thread is added to the needle. Before starting stitching the first step is we have to take the bobbin thread outside so that the stitch will be evenly followed. So we, it, it should be done manually just we have to pull the uh, needle so that the bobbin thread will come out and we have to pull over in the opposite direction so the thread will be resting. Next we are going to take the T footer so which we are going to do the zigzag stitch today. This is the D footer. Now we are going to take the normal normal footer and we have to replace it with the D footer. There will be a black knob behind the needle needle set so we have to just gently press it so that we can easily fix the D footer. Just press it it will be fixed firmly and we have to set the mode mode 2 we have to do and stitch number 7 which is used for zigzag stitches. So we have to take any sari or shawl this is the front side of the sari and this is the back side of the sari. So we have to start stitching with the back side of the sari we have to fold over it so it, the stitch will be neatly seen. In this way we have to stitch first we have to fold the edge of the sari and it should be passed through the D footer in the gap in between the gap and we have to insert the needle manually so that it will be fixed and the thread tension will be easily maintained first we have to stitch slowly then we can start and it should be in the middle speed only so the d footer mainly used to finish the edges of the sari and shawl the thread tension should be 3 and the other end the both ends should be in the hands one should be pulled because of the tension will be followed easily so one end you have to pull the sari and other end you have to roll up and give it so that the tension will be uniformly followed and the stitch will be evenly filled The main problem will be the uneven stitch. If we roll up two times, the we have to maintain it from the first to last. If you over roll it, it won't be seen nicely and uh, we will not get the even stitching. And second thing is you have to pull the sari in the one hand and on uh, another hand you have to roll up and give it. So that only the uh, stitch will be even and the tension will be given uh, correctly throughout the stitch. If you maintain this only, you will get even stitches. And the speed should be in the middle speed so that we are, there will not be any miss stitch will be there. So you can see within the 5 minutes we will finish the sari edge easily and neatly. Throughout the, throughout the edges the stitch is maintained uh, same length and same size because I rolled only 2 times. And I have stitched in the middle speed and the tension I have given in the correct way. In, in, I have taken the synthetic sari. Hope this video useful to you. If you like this video, like and subscribe Manjipliya channel.